you must be wondering who this pretty looking young woman is. Well, if you don't know, I'll just keep you in suspense and see if you can work it out as we go through this article here. Senior Thamina Stoll discusses live tweeting Munich shooting aftermath. I must say that is a very strange name, Senior Thamina Stoll. I wonder if she's got a brother called Junior. Here we go. At least nine people are confirmed dead from the attack. So what's this girl got to say for herself? Stoll was in Munich during the shooting at a shopping mall Friday and live tweeted the incident. So she was live tweeting the incident like she was a reporter. Very interesting. Gunmen opened fire Friday at a shopping centre in Munich, Germany, killing at least nine people. Munich police are still searching for the suspected three shooters and the incident is being treated as a potential terrorist attack. Senior Thamina Stoll, a Munich native, witnessed the attacks and live tweeted them as they occurred. The Chronicle's Nelly Schmorthy spoke with Stoll Friday afternoon about what went through her mind during the shootings and the immediate aftermath. The Chronicle. Where were you when the shooting started? Thamina. My grandma actually lives about two to three minutes away from the shopping centre by foot. I was on my way back there from my internship. The local subway system is connected to the mall. So, so usually what people would do who live close to the mall is walk through the mall because it's faster. So that's what I did today. Then I came to my grandma's apartment, met up with my family and decided to go back to the shopping mall to get a belated birthday gift for my younger cousin. Nothing unusual, just a regular Friday afternoon. Then we returned to my grandma's apartment, stayed there for about half an hour, met up with my mum who had just come home from work and then we decided to go again to the shopping mall because that's our Friday afternoon ritual. We went downstairs and right outside my grandma's house we ran into a family and they were panicking, they were in shock, they were crying. They told us they had just run away from the shopping mall because they had heard gunshots both inside and outside the building. So this family just happened to run away and be at uh, her grandma's house. All right. We were shocked at first ourselves. Then we decided to go back upstairs. And we took in the family because they were shaking and everything. Oh, yes, they were shaking. Shaking from what? We gave them water. <laughs> we gave them water and bread. Oh, no, no bread, just water and shelter. We went to my grandma's balcony, and from there I witnessed about... 50 people running towards our neighbourhood. I recorded the video from the balcony. By God, this woman, this young girl, she should be a journalist. The way she's, you know, recording all this. So 50 people running towards our neighbourhood. I wonder if they gave them bread and water as well. Soon after, I started hearing sirens and a helicopter appeared. It's pretty quick. Pretty quick for a helicopter to, to appear. There were still people on the street. Nobody knew what was going on, but everyone was terrified and trying to be safe. So, yeah, of course, just stay on the street and be terrified. No worries, the helicopter will be there within 30 seconds from the supposed shooting starting. TC, what went through your head when you first realised what was happening? A bullet. Oh, no, only joking. <laughs> so, what's the name again? Thabita. Thabita. Honestly, I just couldn't believe it. Obviously, me and my friends and family have been talking about the terror attacks a lot lately. Especially since my dad, since my dad was actually in Nice, France, when the terror attack happened there. Uh, do we uh, get who, who the father is now? Any idea, folks? Who could her dad possibly be that was in Nice, France? We'll just continue if you don't realise he was one of the people who also happened to record video footage there and he almost died. He almost died. <laughs> he was on a balcony at the Westminster Hotel as a truck goes past. So he almost died, did he? Tell me how he almost died. Oh, the truck was going to fucking, you know, fly up into the second story balcony and hit him, was it? Oh, fuck, it almost died. There we go. The truck drove by less than 300 feet away from him. 
Oh, that's ter terrifying. 300 feet, but he nearly died. I was still recovering from that, but you never really expect something like this to happen in your hometown. I was born and raised in Munich before I came to Duke. Munich is considered to be a very, very safe city, so you don't really expect anything like that to happen here. There were a lot of discussions about the whole refugee, refugee crisis and German Chancellor Angela, a uh, woman from Hal Merkel, committing to taking in up to a million refugees. So a lot of people expect that terrorists wouldn't target Germany. Let's just halt this here and I'm going to point out a few things. Let's just look at our friend on Wikipedia, Richard Gutjahr. One of the <laughs> most talked about names in the last few weeks on social media. There he is. I'll just skip to a part here, which I never mentioned before. In January 1999, he spent five months as a trainee for the CNN CIA office in Washington. Of course. And I'll just go down here. This is a translation from German, so the English isn't the best. On July 14th, Gutcher happened during the attack in Nice Present. He reported on Twitter and in the ARD Night Magazine, a video that apparently shows the beginning of the attack he presented. He decided to explicitly object to the publication of the material in the social networks because he wanted to leave it to the transmitters, which images should be shown. So what happened there? He apparently took off all these images off uh, whatever, Facebook, Twitter, I don't know, but off the social media. Then, uh, eight days later, Gucci reported, among others, live by the shooting rampage in Olympia Shopping Mall after he arrived as one of the first reporters at the scene. Gucci is the former Israeli since 2007, Inat Wilf married. Gucci has a son and a daughter, so that's the daughter. Born in 1994, so she's 21 years old. So, obviously her name, Thamina Stoll, is from his uh, original wife or partner, whatever. So that's why she's not called Gutcha. And let's just go to Enoch Wilf. Um, yeah, they've got one child, Jonathan Gutcha. They were married five years ago, 2011, at the top of the Empire State Building. Recently married a German uh, and an Israeli, and since then they've got a, a four-year-old son, Jonathan. I come to this very interesting article I found about Mr. Gutjahr. Uh, this goes back a few years. Richard Gutjahr said the Augsburger Press Club about the future of journalism and the media. His theses are interesting to the PR. I'll just skip it down here. just want to point out one thing. Just down here it says... Whether Gutjahr would still recommend his children today to become a journalist, Sandra Struing asked. The answer was slow in coming. Um, in Gutjahr's eldest daughter, 21, it is already too late. Interesting that, because it looks like she's a reporter already. So back to this interview, we have the daughter of Gutjahr just so happening to be at the shooting, just just like him, and she is a, a reporter already. TC, have there been any details released on the shooter's identities? Shaul, fun fact, apparently there are three assassins and they're still on the run. According to local media, there were two more shootings in the city centre. Look, like she's talking. She's a reporter. She's a reporter like the old man, and she just happened to be there at the same time. Come on. <laughs> it's all bullshit. It was all staged and she, she was there. She was a plant, just like the old man. I think only one of them is confirmed right now. I mean, you know, she's telling the whole story, like she knows everything. Why did you decide to start live tweeting? Here we go. After what happened to my dad, who also recorded the video, I guess I wasn't thinking. I just started recording and tweeting it because I knew something odd was happening there. No, it's because you are a reporter for the Israelis. Nobody had confirmed there had actually been gunshots or a terror attack, but it just seemed odd. I had never experienced anything like that. There were people running towards our house. It's a smaller street where my grandma lives, so it's usually very quiet. I've never seen that many people running around there all at once. I just tweeted about it, but certainly did not expect that five minutes later, all the major media outlets in the entire world would re reach out to me and use my video. 
so there is a video. She's filmed something. Not sure which one it is, but, oh, yeah, the whole world wants to reach out to her. It wasn't that great of a video. It just showed people running away from something. You couldn't even see the mall or hear gunshots or anything. So she just happens to be there, make a video of people running, and the whole world wants to talk to her. Amazing, that. TC, what has it been like having the media contact you all day? Oh, get this. It's been crazy. I've been doing some live calls with CNN, BBC, CBS, NBC. I schedule a call to talk with Megan Kelly from Fox. I'm going to talk with Don Lemon from CNN later. Apparently, at this point, I don't really know who I've talked to and who has contacted me. A lot of people, friend, requested me on Facebook, contacted me via LinkedIn or Twitter. <laughs> Have you taken in any more families to help them out? Like... Everyone just happened to run the, her grandma's house and no other houses, just the grandma. Let's take in all these families running away from a fucking gunman. Yeah, right. God, what a joke. What a joke. We took in one and they were still missing a family member who was apparently still in the shopping mall. But he showed up later. I don't even know how many people are in this apartment right now. But I think we took in six to seven people. There was even a little child with them. Surely these people would just go home. And what's this run into an apartment bullshit? It just happened to be hers. Could you tell me a little about your background, having grown up in Munich? I was born and raised in Munich, and I actually attended college there for two years. It's called Ludwig Maximilian University. And then I went to Duke for a study abroad year and ended up loving it so much that I applied for transfer admission. And now I'm a rising senior, so I'll be graduating soon. What has the aftermath been like since the shootings? People have been trying to reach their loved ones for some time. I didn't know if my brother was okay, for example, so that was terrifying. But now everyone I know is safe as far as I know. We haven't left the apartment. We've been following the news, watching the TV. Police are talking to the news, occasionally confirming more victims. How are you personally coping with this? At first I was in shock, but once news outlets started reaching out to me, I didn't really have much time to process it myself. I know if I'd been there half... An hour later, I might be dead right now, and that's terrifying. But I haven't really had a chance to process it yet. The psychological breakdown might come sometime later. You cannot make this shit up. The daughter of Richard Goodyear, another reporter, was there at the same time as him.